Hello everyone, it's uh, Spurly here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to, um, edit really good stuff on Share Factory. Now, this is basically the easiest way to do it. So, get your clips and stuff. Um, I just, you know, have a, I'm going to put it in a random clip here, try to find it. Uh, where is it? Here it is, okay. And, um, I'm going to add it, right? So, these are, you know, pretty easy steps on how to make your intros better. So what you're going to want to do is split up where you want to, like, um, you know, uh, do the edit. So I'm going to split the clip where, you know, I want to do the edit, right? So, just let me find, uh, okay, I'm just replaying over it, make sure it looks good. Okay, now you're going to want to split it, right? You're going to want to split it as soon as that. So, split it where you want there, and then I'm going to try to synchronize it up, right? Okay, okay, uh, okay, there we go, Let's see. Okay, so the clip looks pretty nice, um, it's pretty easy to edit, so what you're going to want to do is, uh, next step you're going to want to do is split the clip in, um, where, like, you don't get the kill, like, if you're getting a squad kill, split the clip of your teammate getting a kill so that, like, it's just you getting all the kills. Now, it sounds a little bit, like, n greedy and stuff for your other, for your teammate, but you want these clips to be for you, right? So, let me... I actually need to take out something <laughs> because my teammates, it still shows my teammate getting a kill. So, hold on, let me. Okay, let me see where I can split it at. Can I split it right there? Now I have to go a little bit more out. There we go. Okay, split that, delete it. Okay, so now we just have me getting the kills. Okay. Okay, so the next what you're gonna want to do is add music. You can, you uh, basically have to use a USB drive to get custom music, or put your phone up next to the mic and record audio. So um, I'm just gonna use any random song. You know, uh, all those down there are really bad. So uh, I'm just gonna use this one by by Wise. It's uh, I'm so sad. I'm so very very sad with a Shiloh beat to it. So what you want to do is synchronize this up. So you want to trim it down and synchronize it, right? So, I'm gonna trim it down until I get the beat drop with the grenade. Okay. So the beat drops right there. So I'm gonna wanna bring it down. Okay, there we go. Oh, nope, nope. That's a little bit off. There we go, there we go. Okay. So. There we go, there we go. Alright, right, and then. Boom! Oh, it's a little bit late, actually, but... Alright, actually it's not that late, so it should be fun. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so... What I like to do is split up the clip and like bl do a blur effect until the um, actual thing happens. So you don't want to add the blur effect. Go to the edit filter, filter settings. Bring the radius of the blur down to about 30 to 20. <coughs> oh, that... that I need to actually trim that up, it's, you know, since uh, the, the the clip is a little bit, you know, the blur effect doesn't go all the way. Oh, actually, I need to trim it up a little bit more. Actually, just trim it up until you know it get it gets the kill. It's still not, you know, the best, but it'll work. Mm. Then you're gonna add time bend, time bender two times. And then as soon as you get the kill, you'll have this little effect. Oh, I have to trim it more. Oh, okay. So just, just trim it up until you synchronize it, okay? Oh, yeah. And also, the music will change after you uh, add a times two to the beginning of the song. So I have to keep synchronizing it up until the beat drops. Let's see here. There we go. That's perfect. Okay. And then I'm just going to add uh, a little... Right here, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and go to split clip, and I'm gonna split that clip right there, and then I'm just gonna keep it like that. So then I'm gonna just, you know, uh, as soon as I'm about to shoot that guy, split clip, and then I'm gonna put the time bender as two uh, two times, not one times, uh, or two, uh, yeah, two times, and then it's gonna make it look like this. It's gonna make it look like I'm going a lot faster than whenever I jump. Boom! I'm gonna want to split that. I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna split that, 
and then I'm gonna make it uh, slow motion so that it looks like a nice little like um velocity effect but you know you're just doing that oh I can't make it one time so I'm just gonna delete that actually because I really can't do anything about that so just delete it why didn't I delete it okay okay so just delete it why isn't this working there we go okay delete it and then Okay, after that, it's gonna look like a little. It's gonna skip forward. Then this is what I like to do for replays. Uh, you just you just split three clips, and then delete the one in the middle. Boom. And then you know you just have that little skip forward effect. I'm gonna want to split the clip where I missed the shot, and then delete that because that 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 doesn't look good on my part, right? Right. So split that up, and this is what you're basically working with. You synchronize that, you synchronize that, you have your nice little skip forward effect, you, m you miss the, uh, I actually, and then just, don't need to split that, and then boom. What the heck? And then this is what you're working with. Boom, you hit the grenade, I hit the grenade kill. Jump down, boom. Slow motion. Then you run forward, you have the little skip forward effect. Boom. That's what you're working with right there. So, this is the main part in the share factory. Thing that is really, really just, I've always wondered this. I finally figured this out. It's basically one of the most, like, generic things that I've never thought of. So this is how to add custom filters into your f share factory. Now, no one has really, no one really knows about this. I don't think, but I just now figured this out like not even two days ago, so, like maybe uh, three days ago actually. And like you can add your intro and stuff, but I messed up and put music in, so it's gonna be really messed up. But you know, there's my spray clean intro, and I messed up really big time. Now I'm, I'm I am actually doing a voiceover because this th the the audio files got corrupted in this as well, so great. But yeah, um, just you know, I'm doing a voiceover, trying to sync up as what I said, not over the voiceover, so it's not actually live audio. So, um, yeah, this is how you add custom filters in this. Is you go to your you you have to import images 1280 by 720, um, so it covers your whole screen, and then. You go import the images. Um, you'll have to look up how to import stuff, and uh, just you know get anything like any rainbow or light leak or something like that. Put it over, and then go to the opacity. Main. This is where the magic happens. You bring the opacity down to where you can see your character or the actual screen. You know, still. And then you're gonna want to make the filter last by going to sticker duration and adding it all the way up. Then you have this, you have that nice clean filter. That's what I used in my introducing me, my sp the introducing spray loop. That's how I added the custom filters. Then I have that little light leak thing. I really don't know why I imported it. It was just kind of like, because, be just because, because, I don't know. But yeah, it just kind of looks stupid. So I'm going to take that out. Maybe I'm not going to take it out. I forgot what I actually did because... I was about to upload this and I realized I didn't hear it myself, so I'm pretty sure I just keep it. But you don't have to do that. You just have to have the 1280 by 720 um, colorful pictures to make the filter look nice. So go up to this, go to sticker duration, boom, make it full, and then um, just you know. Add that to all the clips, and also um, another thing that I do in my montages. I'm just gonna add a solid blue filter to this this clip. Make the opacity down. Go to the sticker duration, and that's a bit blue. So I'm probably gonna you know make it yeah I'm gonna make it a little bit lower. 
capacity and bring that down. Yeah, that's a lot better. Boom, have that nice little slow motion. And I'm gonna actually go through and add some share factor filter, so I added the nor for that one. I'm gonna add the blur effect on these actually, these two uh, split forward clips. Um, uh, add filter. And then I'm gonna go to filter settings. I'm gonna set that down so it doesn't look so blurry. I can actually kind of still see. Boom. Boom. Okay, so the filter settings are. Yeah, just. That's basically what you're working with. Yeah, and go through and add all those uh, vintage layouts, and this is how you make the thing look a lot better. It's um, definitely, it's definitely, you know, um, it's definitely one of the main things that look a lot better in montages is just adding a little overlay to it. So, as you can see, boom, sync it up, boom, boom, hit that nice little slow motion effect, and then, you know, you just go up. Boom. Boom. Alright, then you have that, and that's your edit right there. Um, it definitely is a okay edit. It's um, nothing, you know, too crazy, nothing too, you know, no, nothing too advanced. Add replays, that's, you know, add your replay clips, what I do. And synchronize that up with that. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I hope I helped you out, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.